Welcome to another TI Inspire CX tutorial. In this session, we're looking at differentiation from first principles. Before we launch into graphs and differentiation from first principles, we'll start with a simple geometric idea to help understand the concept. Suppose we want to approximate the circumference of a circle by using a square that just fits around the outside of the circle. It's not a great approximation, but it's a start. A pentagon would give us a slightly better approximation. Still not great, but it's an improvement. A hexagon. Heptagon. In fact, with each additional side, we get a better and better approximation to the circumference of the circle. You'll notice that the perimeter is decreasing with each additional side, but it doesn't decrease to zero. It gets closer and closer to a specific value, the circumference of the circle. We cannot have a regular polygon with infinitely many sides, but we can imagine it. And more importantly, we can determine the perimeter of such a polygon and therefore the circumference of the circle. With that in mind, let's return to our original problem to determine the gradient of a point on a curve using differentiation from first principles. By applying our knowledge relating to the gradient of a straight line, we can obtain better and better estimates for the gradient of a curve at a single point. While we can't have a line without length, rise or run, we can monitor the gradient and determine the limiting value. So what do these calculations look like? Let's start with the curve y equals x squared. Suppose we want to calculate the gradient when x equals 2. Just like our square and circle example, we can start with something simple, such as the gradient of the secant from x equals 2 to x equals 3. We can calculate the gradient, rise over run. The approximation for the gradient at x equals 2 is not great, but it can be improved by moving the second point closer and closer to where x equals 2. To save time, I've put these calculations into the notes application in a TI Inspire file. We can see that by moving the second point closer and closer, the gradient of the line segment appears to approach a specific value. That is, the gradient appears to be approaching 4. So, what if I started at a different point? Let's say I want to work out the gradient of the point on the curve where x equals 3. I can do the same thing, starting with the second point being at 4 and progressively moving it closer and closer to where x equals 3. Now it appears that the gradient of the curve y equals x squared when x equals 3 is equal to 6. While this approach is working, a more general approach would be much more efficient. Rather than nominating the second point, I can say that it is h units away in the x direction. The y coordinate of the second point can be found by substitution, by substituting 3 plus h into our original function. Now we have the coordinates of the two points, we can calculate the gradient of the line segment or secant as h approaches 0. We cannot let h equal 0 as this would result in division by zero, and that's not something to be taken lightly. At this point, pardon the pun, you may struggle with the idea that h approaches zero but can never equal it. Don't worry too much, as great mathematicians such as Newton and Leibniz struggled with this idea for years. Just keep in mind our results are focused on limits. So, we have generalised the approach to the gradient at a specific point. If we are interested in the relationship between the x-coordinate and the gradient, then we are talking about a gradient function. So, we replace the 3 with the general point x, and go again. So, 
as h approaches 0, the gradient at any point x on the curve y equals x squared approaches 2x. In the limiting case, we say that the gradient of y equals x squared is equal to 2x. That's all for this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be kept up to date as we add more videos to this series. Be sure to download the worksheet to practice the skills and techniques covered in this tutorial. Thanks for watching.